All right, guys, I'm going to do this one more time. It's Mr. Bellion here. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually, I just recorded this song's audio. Let's do it again, and perhaps we'll call this part two of our rendering and presentation. Okay, my goal is to create something like this. This is what I just did uh, so yesterday in class right here. Um, basically, we're presenting our screenshot to the render shot, and then having a nice presentable format where you have the title and our course code, and your name, my name, and so on. Okay? All good. That's what I want to do. Okay, so we're going to go back into Maya, and we're going to select a ground plane, which happens to be, uh, I'm going to just press Control-A for a second. Okay, there's P, ground plane. Placed it there. So what I'll do is just review here, right-click, and assign new material, okay? And we were used, we were used to creating a Lambert, changing the color and such, all right? So if I was to just go red, for example, there it is, all right? Now, we don't want to do that. We don't put a checkerboard, or we want, to, or you may want to put a picture in here. Same process. So what we'll do is we'll just slide all the way to the right here. Click on the checkerboard, okay? And this time, if you want to put a picture, place a picture of a checkerboard, feel free to press File, and hoping your base is square and the image is square, all good, okay? So I'm just going to add the checker here, and I'm going to change color, and uh, let's just go to blue, okay? You need to press Done, and done it is. Okay, so uh, sometimes um, you'll be in this mode and you won't see what you've done. That's not a problem. All you have to do, as long as you see the change there, press 6 and you'll see your texture shown accordingly. Okay, or your map placement. All right, it's good. Um, let's do this. Command Shift 3 is a screen grab in a, on a Mac, all right, or print screen on a Windows station. But I want you to do two th another thing. I want you to go to Command Shift 4 and actually choose the area you want to take a snapshot of, okay? So I'll come over here and I'll take a shot. Notice that it took a shot, and both these shots are on the desktop, okay? That's how it works. All right, uh, if I take a rendering of this, which is what we want to do, okay, and this is what we want to take, this shot here, and we want to save it. Uh, you can save it in two formats for me as JPEG and Targa and see which one gives you the best results. Look at that. Wow, why are you up there? This is weird stuff going on. Let's do this one more time. File. Here we go. Save image. Uh, and I'm going to call this my shot number seven. And I'm going to change it to Targa, okay, which is right there. You guys can have try it with JPEG as well if you're more comfortable. All right, save. So we have two shots. The one that we took from the rendering. Okay, bye-bye. And we also took a screenshot here. And um, we took a screenshot here, and that's on the desktop. All right. So next step. Clearly, you should save at this point, save as, and so on. I'm just going to go to Photoshop and start a new document. Command N or Control N on Windows. 14 by 8.5. Legal paper. You guys know this. And I'm going to call this my 3D model. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my 3D model. Done. Here it is. All right couple things. Um, command minus, boom. This is our place, uh, our workspace. And what I want to do is place my shots. Okay, so file place. Watch what happens here. Okay, I need to go, um, anytime you take a screenshot, notice here, um, I took two, right? I took this one, which is what we're used to doing on a PC or, sorry, Windows or a Mac. Or you take an actual shot of what you want. So this is the easier method, right? But I'm going to start with the older method. So let's go like this. And it's looking good, but I only want this piece here. So the problem he here is this. Okay, you can go Command T, Control T, and so on, resize it. Yeah, that's great. I don't need everything outside. Like I don't need those settings from you right now. Okay, this looks pretty cool, right? Um, what we should do is crop it. So the way you would do that is File Open, bring that shot again in Photoshop. All right, and it's its own document. See, boom, nothing else here. Okay, the title of this my three model. The title of this is my shot. So C for crop, and here we go. Just quick, one, two, and enter, done. Get out of the tool as always, please. Don't stay in any of these tools. Just get out, come back, and we'll press V. So this is done, Command Shift S. You guys know this, and I'm gonna call this my shot. Because I've already done this already, my shot number two. Usually you would be saving this in your uh, folder. And there it is, my friends, my students, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to hide this, or actually delete that one, because we don't need it. So if I try this one more time, file, place, let's see if we can find my shot number two, right there, place, 
comes in, super large, awesome, and uh, it's already in uh, free transform mode, so as long as you hold shift, you're good to go, okay? We're bringing two shots in here, and Command T would work if this isn't selected, enter. Guys, in, in any Photoshop, this is a uh, version, this is the way it works, okay? Let's go to File Place, now I need to go into my Maya document, which is in my documents, um, let's see, where's Maya? Right there, Maya renderings, and it should be my images, Mirror set. Here we go. This one here. All right. Here it comes. Lovely. Again, super large. Bring this down. What I want to do is maybe go over the shot size for you guys in my next um, tutorial. Okay. I'll just do a nice uh, high resolution image. We'll work on that. We'll work on uh, maybe a six inches by four and a half. Okay. So so far so good. We've got two things in here. All right. Two shots. And let's do a quick titling get the marquee tool. Notice that at this point I'm being uh, aware that I don't want to create anything on any of these layers because the photos are there. Right? So make a new layer. Marquee tool selected. Make a nice bounding box in here. Slide it up. Boom. Put that down. Doesn't matter. Okay, sorry for the movement there guys. And I'm going to get my paint bucket. If you don't see your paint buckets underneath the gradient tool and uh, let's just swap this to blue. I had initially come in here with my eyedropper and picked one of the blue here. Watch this. I'll take that. Okay, there it is. Come back to Paint Bucket, Sweet, Paint, Command D, Control D is deselect. All right, excellent. So now I'm going to go to my Text Tool, Swap. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go to Orange. Okay, and I'm going to call this. Uh, notice that it's 20 points. You can increase it on the fly in a second. My 3D model. Okay, I'm going to highlight it, double click, Command Shift, greater than. Wow, something's going on here. I'm going to definitely mute. Wow, something's going on. Um, let me just quit these. Okay. All right, I'm back. I think um, something was playing from YouTube. So there it is. There's my work. T again for text. Highlight this. Command Shift greater than. You guys know all this. Let's align it like this way here. Okay. There it is, my 3D model, and uh, it's on its own layer, lovely, and let's get the text, uh, let's get out of that and go to text again, and um, let me look at this shot here. Ah, maybe we can um, hold shift, holding shift again, up arrows, oops, what's going on here, folks, oh, because I'm in the wrong tool. Arrow tool, I'm just going to slide these two up a bit, okay, holding shift, there it is, okay. Okay, guys, I'll be right there with you in a second. Just recording. All right, so here's my shot, one, two, my 3D model. Um, you guys can title in a second. Okay, I'm just going to call this wireframe. And, uh, you know, just to see your geometry a bit. It's kind of nice to see before and after. Okay, command shift. Great, that's a little large. That's cool. Okay, good enough. And here it is. Slide it down. Align it nicely. Hold option. Duplicate accordingly. And I'm holding shift. You all know, T for text, and I'm going to call this rendered, okay? Uh, boom, rendered shot. Okay, that's kind of the idea, okay, guys? The goal is to get to something like this that we did in class yesterday. All right, this is a good review. I hope you enjoyed this. Perhaps a little too fast. I apologize, uh, people at the door.